hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is amaka if you're new here thank you so much for clicking on this video and i'm showing you guys my affordable wash day routine or products that i'll be using in this video are very very much affordable okay to get a job done and yeah i will list all the products in the description box without further ado let's get started first things i do is to detangle my hair guys so i'm using this v 5 conditioner to detangle my hair the conditioner doesn't do so much for me in terms of washing so what I do is to use it to detangle my hair I add a little bit of water to it and I'm going to use it to be able to detangle my hair and comb out any breakage any split end on my hair any shed hair before we begin the washing process as you can see I'm up close my hair is very soft now okay i can actually run my fingers through my hair so i do this in parts i have about four parts once i'm done with one section i braid it down and then i move to the next section okay Alright guys, so we are finally done with the tangling. I am going to go straight in and start the washing process. I'm also using the VO5 shampoo. These two products are under 3,500 naira, guys. How affordable is that? And then they get the job done. Wow. Alright, the first stage of my shampooing session is for me to get my scalp clean. As you can see, I'm putting the shampoo just on my scalp. I'm trying to ensure that my scalp is clean and then run the remaining products on my strands but the main essence here is for me to wash my scalp okay this is the second step of my shampooing i only shampoo twice this stage i now use the shampoo all around my hair my strands my sh my scalp as well okay after that i just rinse it out and, and i go straight into my deep conditioning if you've watched any of my watch day videos, you will see that I always keep the regular conditioners and I always deep condition, guys. I found out that deep conditioning gives me the best results. So I'm using this, the Shea Moisture Omega 3 Deep Conditioning Max and I have that all over my hair. And I'm going to use my good old grocery bag and yeah, allow my hair to trap a little bit of heat. I'm going to add my scarf as well. Okay, just so that my hair can trap a little bit of heat. This time I'm just going to do to wear a face mask and then chill. Okay, I had this for about 40 minutes and I took it out. And this is what my hair looks like. Very, very soft. Very, very, very conditioned. So I go in and I rinse. Guys, I use a t-shirt to always squeeze out what on my hair. I find out that it gives, it causes less breakage, okay. So try it out with a t-shirt, with a towel, and your hair will be safe. So the next stage is for me to apply my leave-in conditioner. I use the Kansu Argan Oil Leave-in Conditioner. I'm just going to have that all over my hair. And yeah, I'm going to apply a little bit of hair oil as well. This hair oil has peppermint oil, which is very good for your scalp. Tea tree oil, grape seed, coconut oil just a mixture of all the good oils okay so this time i'm going to have my hair stretched out a bit and i band what i do is i band the roots of my hair that way i'm stretching it out okay and then i braid the remaining parts of my hair this is a good way if you don't want to stretch your hair with heat okay so this is it i'm still going to apply that hair serum on my scalp as well because i love the feeling guys it keeps my scalp very very cool and minted and don't forget your edges as well guys do not forget your edges all right guys so i'm back i took down my braids just so i can show you guys how i achieve a high tech and trunk of it it's pretty simple and it just be okay so i'm going to Move my hair all the way up.
I have a long face, so I don't really like my hair pot to sit on my on top of my head. I just want to put it yeah, midway. I'm just going to brush my edges. I'm going to move my hair all the way up this way. One type. Then I feel it the middle of where you want to stop. You can always adjust as you go. I'm going to pull the back as well gently. And then try it. Just go like this. The bonnet is a bit loose, so this is the tightness at the back. And then this will help mold my pot in shape. And then I tap, 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 and take shape. Very quick. Yeah. Trying to flatten this part a bit down. Okay. I'm going to tie this cap on my hair for about let's say two minutes and just let everything set. So you can go in and do your edges, lay them down if you like, but for me, I just like to leave my hair with minimal product, especially on the first day after my wash day. So this is basically it. This is how I style my hair after wash days most wash days yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah don't forget to hit the like button okay comment down your favorite types of hair product that you use to achieve a perfect wash day affordable ones as well and yeah i would like to know and if i can help someone else don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed i'd love for you to join the family please like share this video okay and I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.